What is up, lads, and welcome to the second episode of. Uh, There's a dramatic drum roll. There's always a dramatic drum roll. Of course, man. You know me, I'm a drama queen. Uh, the UFL show. <laughs> so that is the name. Shout out to a couple of the boys that the end and. Uh, well, we had kind of a discussion in the Pez Universe group chat as well, and uh, we came up with that name. It's not the most, you know, groundbreaking name. It's pretty it much... That's what he says on the team. Yeah, yeah, it exactly. I mean, that's that's what this podcast is about. It's two two lads just talking, you know, saying it as as we feel it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're back. We're back with episode two. If you missed episode one, or if you're listening to this and you're thinking, this isn't Pez, you know, what are these guys talking about? Uh, this is a brand new podcast we're going to be running in conjunction with the Pez podcast, the Pez Universe podcast, where we discuss Pez, eFootball, retro Pez, anything got to do with Pez and the series. And then this, the UFL show, is a brand new um, podcast, which will be running in conjunction with the Pez one. And we'll probably have one maybe like every kind of week or two, depending on how much news we have. And it's going to be covering UFL. So the new football game that's about to enter the enter the market or enter the coliseum we should say because there is a big dog fight coming now i think over the next couple of years for uh for football game and lover fans so yeah welcome to the ufl show i'm joined again of course by my co-host extraordinaire all the way from birmingham it is weza fc you remember to intro me in this yeah man i, I introduced <laughs> the, i introduced you in this one but we are doing these uh podcasts back to back so we just did a pez universe one or a pez one where we discussed about the latest news for Pez, so check that out. It's it's finally a bit of positivity and about a bit of good news that could potentially be good for the future. We talk about the League MX and stuff. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna jump straight in, Wes. I mean, we're I know I've been talking to you a bit about the UFL stuff. It's been a while since the reveal. Um, it's been over a week now by the time yeah. we record this. You know, it's like eight days ago. So, I mean, we've had time to. I don't know, process our thoughts, talk to a couple of different people about it, like see what was, you know, what we actually thought. I've watched the trailer a good few times. Um, I mean, let's jump in, man, as we like to do. Let's jump in and like what were, give me the good, the bad and the ugly. You know, give me the good, give me it down. I want it just straight between the eyes, what you thought <laughs> of the UFL reveal. Um, you know, gameplay wise, we didn't see much, but like what was your overall impression of what we did? see and maybe what worried about you know worried you that we didn't see so jump well, in. In, t- in, t- in terms of my reaction i mean my reaction at the time was uh because i think it was dropped uh it was dropped a week a week yesterday mm. as of time of recording it was a thursday um uh, and obviously because i have more things to do than just sit there waiting the trailer uh i was too busy watching tv at the time so uh, I, I was kind of late to the party. I kind of looked at my phone after it had all kind of dissipated. Oh, I come on. WhatsApps from, come I on. Had WhatsApps, I had WhatsApps from you. I had DMs. I had messages. I had all kinds of stuff waiting for me. And I was like, okay, this has either gone horrendously good or horrendously bad, whichever one comes first. <laughs> so I as I kind of sat there and I've, 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 yeah, I've put on, I, I kind of didn't, I went to the trailer first. Because the trailer was meant to be the, like this. Oh, we've got our first gameplay reveal. Oh, you like the minute and a half bit you went the to straight minute, away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, let's give it a shot. It's literally, I think it was like 90 seconds long. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for gameplay. Still waiting for gameplay. <laughs> okay, we're, 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 we're in. Yeah. And then the, the shot kind of shows up, or at least the six seconds worth shows up. And. At first glance, uh, and again, this is at first glance as well. And I'll also prefix this by saying, this is alpha footage. Mm-hmm. This is like alpha. This this may not even be final gameplay. So I hope it not. looked, and, and I think even the tweet that I put out about it was my first guttural reaction was, it looked like they had tried, uh, Strikers Inc. had tried to kind of mesh together the worlds of pairs and or put the worlds of eFootball and mm-hmm. FIFA together yeah. uh, in the sense of, you know, the, the screens that we saw from the menu of the whatever game mode that it was, um, or whatever game mode it looked like it was going to be, looked very akin to Ultimate FIFA. Team. And then yeah. your the actual screen, the actual gameplay, some of the cuts, like where it shows you like the cuts behind the... Um, the, 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 the kind of the players where it's like the strikers and it's that particular angle. It looks so much like the broadcast angle from Pez. Yeah, I was 
almost taken aback by yeah. how, how similar it looked. Now, I will give them credit in the sense of it's their first time creating a game, but I've got to give them a pass for, for, for a little bit for, mm. for that. Yeah, a little bit of leeway, definitely. A little bit of leeway for the fact it's their first time. They're making all of the right noises mm. in terms of, you know, when you then go and look at the, the near enough, I think it was like 20 minutes worth of presentation that they did, where they introduced who they were and their people behind it and, and, and how things were kind of con- kind of being created. Mm. Kudos for that. Yeah. Because that's the type of stuff that I was lauding EA for in yeah. the sense of they took you behind the curtain, they put you in touch with their people who I, I literally got hands on the game. Great great stuff the the narrative that i saw though was a fair amount of people saying well do you know what it's their first you know it's the first time and, and they haven't got the budgets or they haven't got the, mm. the the kind of the the the, the resources that the other guys have had. and i'm like okay in my head i'm like okay that, that's absolutely fine if mm-hmm. you haven't got the resources great don't go and spend resources on getting cristiano ronaldo as an ambassador <laughs> then Maybe focus on that side of things because I think mm. from what I've read before, it's had about four years in development. Uh, more, I, man, I, I more, be, I think. I may be, I may be I think. quoting Six that years. wrong, yeah. But it's like it's like yeah, you, you've right. had that in development, great. And and as I even said, as a plus point to them, it's a testament that they have got a game that looks like it's on par with eFootball or pairs. Mm. Bear in mind, it's their first time out the gate. And they've had four years of development. Bear in mind, you've got a company that have got a track record of creating a football game. Mm-hmm. And this football game looks like it moves slicker. It looks responsive. And great. And the, and those types of noises are fantastic. So from a, from, a, from a good standpoint, it was the overall presentation looked really slick. Mm. The fact that they let you in behind the curtain was really good. The noises that they're making, again, it's, it, it, they're great. The only bad side of it is, is the six seconds worth of gameplay. Yeah. Of which is alpha footage, mm. and then it's the we'll we'll let you know when it we'll get you yeah to when, when it's, it's ready. ready yeah it's and funny. I'm like so and I'm like it's it's funny and I think I think the ugly side of it for me is it felt like there was just so many veiled digs at either Konami or EA. Mm. Now yes, all right, I know about you know trying to make an impression by you know getting like, the ha ha and the memes off, but you know. They, they were memed into submission when they first did the Lukaku ambassador reveal mm. because of how Lukaku looked as a player. Like, they got memed into submission because then all of a sudden they had to redo it and go, oh, well, it's... it's um, yeah, it's like the lighting and all that was the issue. It, it was the lighting was the issue and this was the issue and that was the issue and we've had to then put into text going, this is not representative of final stuff, mm. which is fine. I just think that there's so much more to see mm. before you then herald it as either... The game that's going to overtake number two or potentially even take over number one before you even get to the whole it's going to overtake eFootball or it's going to overtake pairs mm. you have to see way more than what we saw in that trailer That's oh way yeah more. definitely if yeah anything, it was it was a very anything, slick presentation but i didn't think like i didn't think it didn't yeah i mean exactly as you said there i think we've all had the same kind of like overall kind of points about it like it's easy again I'm a glass half full person. So if people haven't listened to the Pez podcast and, you know, obviously this is their first time because it's a UFL, you know, it's UFL content and it's a brand new, you know, series and a brand new platform that we're doing this on. I'm a very positive person. Like, so it's, you know, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to like shit on the game just because like I thought that, you know, like the, the nets looked like absolutely shocking the grass looked terrible i thought the graphics were really poor like i'm not yeah, going to just like absolutely a, a point, slam dunk it like because yeah, a point a point a point on that because i've seen plenty of comparison mm. videos i've seen plenty of people trying to go like oh well let's break down the gameplay i'm like you've saw six seconds yeah. you've saw literally six seconds yeah i know people are all about the oh let's create content let's get views let's do this you've literally saw six seconds of gameplay and you're comparing it to I've seen people comparing it to all different types of things, mm. and I'm just like, that 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 wasn't a gameplay trailer. Yeah, it's it's as bad as it's as bad as the the deep dive that we saw from Konami. Like mm. for them to go, oh, we're gonna see a brand new gameplay trailer, blah 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 blah, and it's like, okay, we saw six seconds, and then the rest of it was kind of cinematic. Mm. Like, um, 
the bits that were curious for me and the bits that would worry me is that I think there was a part where the is it, I think it was the creative director, creative director mm-hmm. of the game. Yeah. Uh, his name escapes me. Eugene. I apologize for that. Eugene. Yeah. yeah. So when Eugene starts writing off going, we've got experts in legal, marketing, yeah. you know, all this stuff. I'm like, okay, so so when are we getting development? Where yeah. are we getting game development? Game Where are those experts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you've not listed them. Okay, that's slightly worrying. Mm. Now, yes, some people might go, oh, wait, so you're just being cynical now. You're just picking holes. Yeah, but very it's true. easy It's easy to be cynical true. of it. Like when there's very, things very to be true. criticized. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's like with anything, you know, it's like, like eFootball is in a state at the moment that like, you know, you have to criticize it and say like, it's just not up to par for a next gen PS5 game. Like, you know what I mean? You know, I don't know how the game is actually going to play. And like I was on, yeah. I did a first reaction uh, podcast with Nico and, you know, asked him for the, the next gen podcast. It was like a live watch along thing. And when I was watching it, like in real time, like it wasn't until we kind of went back and when we were just chatting at the end of it and, uh, you know, Asim put the thing on the loop. Like he put the, the gameplay, just the gameplay, a minute and a half. It was on the loop. So I watched it about 10 times while we were talking. And like the more I watched it, the more I saw things that I was like, oh, this is, this looks really yeah, dodgy. But, but at but, the same time, is, like it's, we don't know if this is two years away, a year away. Yeah, we don't know how far along they've come since that. Yeah, and not um, to mention the footage that they showed was were, was alpha footage, which I suppose is they get out in this. Yeah. Because they can turn around and go, well, do you know what? The game's not ready, so we're just giving you a, a taster of what's coming. Mm. Which The one thing that would that did worry me a lot, though, was like the fact that, and I, I haven't seen many people talk about this, but I was just thinking it myself, and I think I said it that night on the, the podcast thing. Like, Konami made a big mistake of showing the gameplay that they showed like it was a mixture of different builds and different footage and stuff. Like there was some mm. mobile footage filtered in with no yeah. shadows, no details, no yeah. like, you know, none of the fancy kind of next gen lighting or anything of that. They showed some of that in the trailer mixed in with PS5 stuff where you went from having like, you know, like unbelievable screenshot of Marcus Rashford or a trailer they put up three or four days after the initial like release of the trailer where it was like all low res kind of stuff and you had like screen capture software being seen on the screen to like showing a really top class couple of clips of like, you know, I think it was like Ansu Fati tipping the ball off, you know, Rashford yeah. looking class. And the thing that would worry me about it from a, a graphic point of view or a graphical point of view, which doesn't bother me that much at all, um, it would be that like, did they show, was this gameplay trailer an alpha of a PS5 build game? Because it looked like it was being run on the PS5. So if that's the case, I'd hate, I would I don't want to see the PS4 version of it. You know what yeah, I mean? But, but this is it. This, this is yeah. the point, is that, is the, 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 the immediate kind of guttural reaction from, 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 from two different sections was either this game is going to flatter to deceive yeah. or you need to give them time. Now, the issue with it is, is that as much as there is stuff to be hyped about, mm. i.e. the stuff they're talking about, in terms of the, the variety of game modes, I was very impressed by that mm. uh, in terms of how much they're looking to try and execute. Yeah. The, the fact that they have a divisional system, which, again, yeah. has been you know missing from both. Yeah, both. Around yeah. the market, mm. because it's not really a system within EA or within FIFA. And obviously... Uh, eFootball has had that kind of system stripped out of it. That that's obviously a, a very a very good thing to have. The fact that they're talking about esports stuff uh, again from a, from an esport perspective again, it's a very good plus point. But then equally, as we've said, it's the lack of the gameplay footage. It's the fact that the gameplay footage is an alpha, so we realistically don't even know whether that's any good or not. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people are overlooked. Like I said to you, like my first thought to you when we were talking about it was like something you've already mentioned. So I'll piggyback off what you said at the start. People, I think, are overlooking a serious amount of issues, like original issues. And I'm not saying that the game like won't be fun and all that. And I'm not, I, I'm definitely going to give it, like I'm definitely going to try it out. But I think people are like overlooking some of the huge issues that they have because they're looking at them as some sort of like, indie kick you know kickstarter or yeah, yeah, gofundme yeah, it's like yeah then they they're whip out cristiano as... ronaldo and they've got like lukaku yeah. kevin de bruyne like they're bringing out licenses out their rear like like yeah, they're, i they're think looking, they're looking at they're looking at this game like it's the little train that could mm. 
they're looking at it as this this really brilliant underdog story mm. and 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 to, to kind of pinch a line for one of the favorite podcasts that i listen to um there's bad guys and there's bad guys mm. but in terms of the gaming industry as a whole which i know that we could talk about a very different podcast um might be a next gen one so next gen if you're watching oh yeah me in. he's recruiting yeah, um, but it's like there are bad guys and there are bad guys companies will do stuff that benefits them so, so it will only benefit their fan base if it benefits them so yeah. the yeah, likes of Ronaldo, so. the reason why they brought Ronaldo on board is for the shock factor of wow they've got yeah Ronaldo. somebody huge to sell the like, game from that's it it's really it's huge because then all of a sudden then he goes onto his Instagram he goes onto his Twitter or he goes onto his very vast social network and then all of a sudden it becomes oh well that's that's the game that Ronaldo's in oh mm. Ronaldo's my favorite player Ronaldo yeah. FC blah 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 and it becomes that that whole meme. And yeah, it but it's marketing one hundred and one, isn't it? You know what I mean. Yeah, you get yeah, somebody you go, popular to you know to yeah. promote your product. Like it helps if the if the person is actually in, like enjoys it or whatever. I mean, you know? yeah. I mean, it also helps if if Ronaldo doesn't look like he's being held at gunpoint. Exactly. Well, yeah. Because that yeah. video was just like, like I granted, I know that the man's English is not is not. It, yes, it's 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 passable, mm. but it was the way in which it was the hi Cristiano, and mm. it was like hi Eugene, and it's yeah. like. You can at least have like an actual recorded like call, a real not conversation, where, yeah. not where one of them has been recorded at that point, mm. and then it's been spliced into yeah, this yeah, point. Yeah. Like we have them having a conversation mm. that would have looked good. Yeah, like if it had been like an actual conversation where they've both been talking to each other and having a laugh and a joke. Yeah, could get on. Board yeah, with it. just more like, natural. That, like that would, yeah, it's more natural. But you know, but again, if you are a lay person in the street, you're not going to care. No, you don't. All go, you'll see is Ronaldo, and they can go, plaster Ronaldo yeah, on every like every post or every graphic they release. Will have Ronaldo. The last image you it. see on the trailer is, is UFL, yeah, yeah. and then Ronaldo's face. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, 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 it is a it is a, a very valuable tool because, mm. like we said, he's one of the most recognizable athletes on the planet. And from a marketing, no, their marketing team are brilliant. Like so far, it's anyway. brilliant. Yeah. You see the fact that his celebration is getting, you know, he's set, even when he. You know, He's like the Aussie Open was getting disrupted in the tennis because people were seeing and mm. um, Nick Curry, Curry was, like like it's it's a become a almost a phenomenon. So mm. then all of a sudden they've been ended up well. If we're gonna market a game, we'll get the guy who is the mm. most marketable player. Yeah, it's very clever moment. move. Like, but it's I great. I do think that they should. I think if, like personally speaking, I think they seem almost like they don't want to be seen as the little guy. Do you know that kind of way? Where like, I think that they could have fed into that and they might have got, instead of getting like Lukaku and De Bruyne and guys like that, maybe they should have went off and got, you know, the next like kind of up and coming stars. You know? They could like, have gone and got, they could have gone and got a litany yeah. of, of up and coming stars. And say, you know, something along the lines of like, if I was doing it, obviously be like, you know, we believe in like starting something yeah. Like with we potential and building into in it, future. such as yeah, insert, yeah. you know, whoever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So then you go and get Pedri. And yeah, Bernardo, Pedri or. Uh, you know, you go and get. Uh, Musiala and get, or whatever his yeah, name Musiala, is. Yeah, Musiala. Yeah, Musiala, Musiala. You go and get those sorts of players, and mm. all of a sudden, then it's oh wow, actually they've gone completely left field. Yeah, they, they've gone the grassroots that kind is, of. Though, yeah. yeah, but the problem with that is that the metrics wouldn't be the same. Yeah, of course, of course, said, yeah. Much as we spoke about metrics with other companies, and you know, you know your IRL job where you you know we spoke about it before off the podcast I'm not going to talk about it on the podcast but it's like you talk about metrics and you talk about how visibility mm -hmm. like you know getting Jude Bellingham and Pedri and uh you know uh Trinkau for example would wouldn't even probably make one tenth of yeah of course it wouldn't of what Ronaldo mm. would you know, one one post for Ronaldo is seen by millions of people oh yeah it, like it's so, a huge so, power move like yeah, to get Ronaldo yeah. in as so so, it, so from that from that stance, it's great. So it, it's almost like they are trying to market themselves as we don't want to be seen. We want to be seen as a serious contender. Mm. But at the same time, they're then trying to feed into a narrative of going, well, we're trying to do things differently and fair to play, and we're trying to limit scripting, and we're trying to do, you know, oh well, we we're going to do it where skill determines the end of it, and, and, and which is great. Again, sounds great on paper. Implementing it in the game, though, may be slightly more difficult than what I think they believe it is. Mm. Like, you can't, you know, we, we've, we've said it about other games previously, you know, you can't, you can't take, you know, in shoot 'em ups, for example, you can't take 
you know certain bits out of it because you know it, it becomes a it doesn't become skill based anymore. Mm. It then it's then a it's a look at the draw. Mm. You know. Well, that's the big and, thing that they're like, like they're they're making a very. I think they're kind of like making a big play here for like, you know, this fair to play and all this sort of stuff. Like I'm going to be very interested how, how that's going to work. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, I'm not worried, man, I'm not worried. Being honest with you, like I thought my initial impressions of, of it were like, I thought it looked like a mobile game, like graphically. Now that doesn't say a lot for, um, e-football or the current build of e-football at the moment either. Like, but I thought when it was like, when it was like close in, it looked okay. I thought the player models looked okay. I thought the kits looked okay. I thought the UI and all that sort of presentation looked, you know, pretty decent. It was very slick. But like, in terms of like, when it was, as you said, like broadcast camera, like, and the movement and everything, like, looked mobile-ish. Do you know that kind of way? Like, it looked like Pez Mobile yeah. 2021. Uh, yeah, that doesn't bother then, me, personally. That, yeah. that That would not bother me if the game was like fun responsive fast and fair and you felt like you could defend you felt like you could pass shoot whatever like that's all i want in a football game and a bit of content to sink some time into and like yeah. that's going to be their big thing is that like if they're betting everything on this being fair to play fair play to them like but if they are betting on that like 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 i mean how are you going to judge like what's fair to play and not do you know what i mean like are they going to have different cards we've already seen the cards and all that they look good like, are we going to have different cards with different abilities? Like, are all like, how is it going to? How are they going to yeah, balance the ecosystem? These, you know what I mean? But that, but that's what this trader has essentially done. This yeah. trader has done essentially the same thing that that Konami's trader did, mm. which is it has left far more questions than yeah. answers. And I, I think we are again. I hate to say this because I've said it so many times on the Pesh Universe podcast, but we're now in a wait and see. Mm. We're now in a you know when they spoke about oh we're going to take you down the development diaries are we going to see more of them going forward because yeah. that would be good yeah it would be good that would be a good step to go hey actually we're going to take you down the the, the shooting animations or we're going to take you down how um uh, the passages of play work or we're going to take you down that that kind of road like that would be great because mm. then all of a sudden you've then got something tangible to go well actually they are quite engaged in their community they are listening to people and they want to tell people how their stuff's going to work before it gets released mm. i'm not saying that they need to come out in the morning and say this is when this game's getting released i would rather them do a it's when it's ready yeah and which again was a fu- was a funny line because yeah, it was funny all right. it was, like but again it okay release it when it's ready that's fine but your communication now needs to be on point if you want to separate yourself from the big two your communication needs to be on point because mm. EA's, EA's communication is lacking. Konami's mm. communication is lacking. If you can ingratiate yourself into that that gap, and as we said previously on last uh, the last podcast, if they can work that little kind of niche, yeah, and that yeah, I know niche and that little gap, they can expand that kind of footfall, and then all of a sudden, then it becomes a viable alternative. Mm. At the moment, it's just an alternative. It's just something that they've spoken a good game. They've come out with a very slick looking presentation, which is great. Now they've got to go and back this up. Yeah, you have to back it up. I, exactly. I, you know, I, I hope they do. Mm. Because you know what? We haven't had a third game in the market since this is football. Like, yeah, that's true. That, that's how it's long ago it is. Yeah. Rio Ferdinand was in an England kit on the cover. <laughs> like, that's how long ago we're talking, people. Like, it's been near enough, what, 20 years? Yeah, it's 2005, I think, was the last one, was it? Yeah, 2004, I think it was maybe. Two, 2003. Where's Shales when you need him? Well, oh, yeah, Charles, Charles would be all over this, <laughs> but it's like it's near of twenty years since we've had a third, and I'll use the word viable alternative because I know that there's been other other games that have come and passed and have tried to kind of make a play at doing this type of thing, but none of them have had this type of impact mm. because you know they have landed some blows, they have landed some significant blows. Yes, we can talk about how cheap it is to take jabs at your competitors, but the stuff they were saying wasn't a lie like they weren't mm. taking you know when they were like we're going to make sure that our game's responsive yeah they, they are I yeah i think so. they will because think they will. because it needs to be because in this type of environment it does need to be so i think there are more i think there's more positives than there are negatives with it but i think the negative still needs paid attention to so hopefully mm. we'll see improvements as time goes on hopefully we'll see more gameplay footage i'd like to say that 
I, I'd like to see them take a a a, a step or a, 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 a step out of um, 2K's book. Um, so 2K this week had their release of their first deep dive, mm. uh, and it was a full match of WWE, WWE 2K22, yeah. where they took you through every little kind of thing that had then changed mm. about how the the match flow worked and how the new stun system worked mm. and how the Crap finishes and worked. And, and how they'd revamped everything about how the, the, the chairs and tables broke and how the kendo sticks now get frayed when you've hit people with them yeah. too many times. And I'm like, that's that's what football games needed. Mm. That's what they need. They need a full sit down where it's like, yeah, everybody just take a look at this game. We will talk you through it as commentators, but we'll talk you through it as things are going on. We'll show you the bits that are different mm. than any other football game. Mm. Because that's where it's going to win or lose is trying to make itself different than the other two because from a presentation standpoint ea has it you know mm. in terms of the way they they dress up their game it's brilliant on mm. the pitch slightly questionable more so even more questionable mm. whereas eFootball, when it or at least pez when it plays well is the best football experience that you can have mm. eFootball, it's very going to be very hard to tell until they actually release something yeah. so ufl needs to focus on what they can do they don't need to keep firing shots now they've got the shots out of the way yeah they can now focus on what they want to yeah do. but it, like it already it pigeons it pigeonholes them into you know they're not going after the master league crowd they're not going after offline players they're not going after people that like to play you know like a certain way or a certain style of football you know such as like fuma or pass assist one guys who are purists or whatever they're not going after so far you know guys that like to edit they're pretty much saying exactly as what they're what they're showing is that like look we're going after a slice of the ultimate team slash my club you know pie so to speak yeah. we're going also after the more lucrative market of, across like the genre of different different genres of Fortnite, of rocket league of your war zones and of your you know, your, yeah. your Halos now, like your free to play titles, you know, your GTA, GTA online, like we want, that's what they're going for. Like, and I think they're going to try and offer exactly what they've said, like a fast responsive, you know, like non like graphical or non, like it'll be easy to run it. Like I know they're not on PC, but like it'll be an easy to pick up and play a game yeah. where you won't have to, you know, like, play 50 hours a week or 40 hours a week to compete. You know what I mean? Like to get to division one, you don't have to dedicate like either huge money in or huge yeah. like and that's, efforts and that's or time, you thing. know? Yeah. And that's going to be the thing is, is how, how are all of these aspects going to work? That's so the me thing. And you could, me and you could sit here for hours mm. and talk about how we think it's going to work. Uh, and you know, it's, it's very much, it's very much Pandora's box. We're going to find out what is cracked open, and then once we find out what's in there, we'll then be able to see exactly what it's going to look like and exactly how it's going to play. Mm. Until then, we've got the, the 18 or 19 minute kind of presentation. Yeah. And like I said, slick presentation, made all the right noises, was light on substance. Was, yeah. Would be, if I was leaving a TripAdvisor review, that's exactly how it would <laughs> Yeah, but that's the best way of summing it up. I do think, though, man, like there is room. Like, if you look at Warzone now, like, I always go back to Warzone because I play it a lot, but like as frustrating and annoying and it's like got so many issues at the moment, like that I'm not even playing anymore, like with cheaters and all that. Right. But at its core, like the reason why that succeeded is because, you know, if you're, if you want to get good at Warzone, all you need to do is put in the time. Do you know what I mean? Like if you want to be good and if, if you, if you just want to jump on, like we used to jump on as a social thing where we're literally talking and playing Warzone in the background as a background activity, having to crack, you know, laughing at things or, you know, <laughs> Carrasco shooting me while I'm in the heli or any, you know, thing like that or ass and fucking, you know, laughing at Carrasco and like deafening my, my left eardrum. Like yeah. if that's just the thing, it's, it's like a social hook or a gameplay hook. Like Warzone is like, you pick it up and you shoot a gun. Like the guys that are beating you, are better than you with the same guns. You know what I mean? Like they don't have an yeah. advantage. Whereas, you know, I wouldn't be able to compete if I picked up FIFA now and come on and try play you in a game. I just wouldn't be able yeah. to compete with you. Obviously you'd smash me from, you know, you're better than me at the game, but from it's a bad. team wise, I wouldn't be able to compete with you either unless I pumped in 
serious money into getting a team similar to yours to give me give me a chance. My club is or the if, same. Or if you or if you've had the time or if you've had the time. That's yeah, just... like if I dedicated like the next six months to practicing, like maybe. Yeah. But like that's what I'm saying is like it's a huge. You know, it's well, a maybe huge that's, kind of maybe that's the niche. Maybe that's the kind of the the, the niche that that you are going to go for. Is yeah, very much the pick up and play. Pick up and, you pick up and play. Yeah, which I think which you were, I would think would be would be a smart ploy. Mm. It might not be the ploy that everybody enjoys, but it would be the smart ploy because EA you have to learn several different combinations of skill moves to. Even yeah, well, that's definitely the way UFL are probably going to go. Like it's like yeah. going to be Fortnite, you know, like football. Like without yeah. that's not I'm not I'm not slagging it that way. I'm just saying that like that doesn't mean that it can't be you know the mechanics can't be deep, the gameplay can't be rich. Like that's not saying that yeah. like like Fortnite is probably the most one of the most successful games ever, and it's simple to pick up and play. And mm-hmm. any money that you put in is just for cosmetic stuff. So like it doesn't yeah. give you an advantage to the actual mechanics of the gameplay or you know yeah. like ran you know RNGs or whatever they're called like random stuff. I think that's what they're going to go for, man. But it's interesting to see how they're going to work it out. Like, because at the end of the day, you are going to get people that will have more time than others to play it. There's going to be people that I'm sure will, you know, maybe that they'll have, I mean, there's so, as you said, there's so many questions, but let's see. Let's see, man. Just got to wait now. Yeah, man. But I think that's it, man. I think that's, I think we've covered pretty much everything there. Um, you know, we we'll wait and see what what more news is. I mean, there was a lot to go through in the trailer, but it was more mostly, I don't know, kind of things like menus and you know, will there be an edit mode? You know, like with kits and stuff. Um, you know, we yeah, saw like that like, type of stuff. We ain't gonna. We ain't we're not gonna, gonna get that for a while. We're not maybe E three, right like maybe E three, but maybe. maybe, maybe, but like it seems to me that it's probably a good bit away. But uh, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. I just think that they need to, yeah. I I wasn't blown away by it. Let's just say, like I was, I'm intrigued by it to see what it looks like. But yeah, let's see, let's see, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we end it there, man. We end it there, and uh, we will be back hopefully maybe next week um to discuss some things. Just depends on when there's news, folks. Yeah, man. Just depends. depends on when there's news. Depends. We'll we'll keep our ears to the uh, to the floor in relation to uh, UFL news, as same with the football news. We'll. We'll keep our ears to the floor and, and hopefully have some type of tangible update. But yeah. I'd imagine until then we might just basically sit here and just and just wait like SpongeBob looking at a cup of coffee. <laughs> we might just be waiting. Yeah, I mean that's it. If anyone is is if anyone if anyone like wants to you know like put in the comments what they would like us to discuss that we haven't covered before, like feel or free as you'd well. Like to see on, or you'd like to see on. I yeah, always like, I always like those. Yeah, exactly. Get a like, couple of guests like, on and. It's like fantasy booking, but yeah. for, for podcasts. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we can expand the search now with, you know, like going into the future UFL content creators, maybe, um, and yeah. get their thoughts on it because, yeah, I'm just very intrigued, man. I think anyone that I've talked to are kind of, uh, it didn't look great, but I'm still intrigued. I, I think that they have that kind of maybe kind of with it. Um, yeah. I think it was, it was the alpha, it was the alpha, it was the alpha bit of the footage, I think, which has then saved them yeah because it's not definitive with the watermark yeah yeah you've got people you've got people who were giving out about you know x y and z about it and it's like you do have to remember it is it is alpha footage Mm. so as much as we can you know even my emotional first take on it was i didn't look that great but then when i think about it i'm like well actually it is literally alpha footage i've got to give it a break and, Mm. and just see what the actual stuff looks like yeah well that's all we can do man is just like judge it on as it comes the same as we've done for any in the Peds universe podcast is you know judge what on we you know what, what, we, what we see hopefully i mean i don't know what their plans are for for um you know gameplay or anything but hopefully if you know when we do get to play it whether it's like before launch or like at launch or whenever we see gameplay next um judge it on that i mean that's that's all we can do really um Definitely. but yeah let's end it there episode two of the ufl show if you missed episode one make sure and check it out um yeah that's pretty much it Wes pleasure as always some good talking points we've rattled these out back to back I mean people will (laughs) think we're like wearing the same clothes like for the last like four days in a row but we did do these podcasts back to back so that's why we're wearing the same clothes and (laughs) look the same but uh yeah I've been the Midnight Kid Wes I'll let you round it out and uh I'm doing it fuck
fucking problem man. <laughs> but uh, and yeah. he's and he's late for a phone call. Yeah, man. Uh, take care, and we'll uh, speak to you guys. Soon.